All right. This podcast is for fun, entertainment. Sit back and learn something from this story. This is a teachable story, I believe. And it's going to start off our love week. Welcome to It Is What It Is. I am Sha Marie. I'm Jean. All right. Get fucking serious here. Yeah. <clears throat> People don't like that I cuss like two seconds into it and it's not two seconds. It's actually 30 seconds. So. But you guys, it's it's your personality. It is. It's how you talk. And my stepdad listens to this, okay? You know? And he said he's a big fan, so fuck off. Well, and honestly, right? I guess if you're in a church, you, you kind of mind your manners better. She does do good. Yeah. yeah. If I have to. I do, like but like I don't. Family dinners that are once a, once a year. You don't go on an f bomb tirade in front of the aunties. So that's no, okay. I only drop it every fifth <laughs> fifth word. And then you go, oh shit. And I do say, oh shit, and then I apologize for cussing. I'm like, oh shit, sorry, and then I say it again, followed up by the oh shit. But um, before we dip into the case today, we do have to do our our day <laughs> bell update. Update. Ding, ding, ding. I really wish that we had a cooler setup than just my phone, because that would have been a cool spot to One put day. in some, like, dun, 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 you uh-huh. know, like some gay bells. No, all something. we gotta do is... is the gay oh, bells! No, oh, my gosh! Okay. What we could do is, is get one of those fun little um, electric keyboards. Right, with the little and, sounds? Yeah, and we'll Cute. pre-record. Yeah. yeah. Cute. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. Fuck off, guys. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to update you guys about those psychopaths. Um, so far, some 911 tapes have been reviewed and released. Today is uh, February 9th, Sunday. That's when we record and release in the same day, on a Sunday, on the Lord's Day. That's what we do. So tomorrow will be February the 10th, which is the cutoff. For Lori to present children to CPS. Okay. And then and then after the 10th, after tomorrow, is when, if Rexburg has any sense at all, which I was hoping they sure do, they will ch- make some sort of criminal charge hmm. against Lori. And it doesn't take the actual regular time mm-hmm. in the state of Idaho. Right, and I'm hoping hoping that once that is done, then the Hawaiian p- police, policia, will go and collect the psycho ass. And we'll figure out what the fuck is going on. Now, they want a person-to-person, face-to-face. They don't mm. want to accept a telephone video conference. No, I don't believe so. I believe it's face-to-face. Face-to-face, take their pulse, make sure. Yeah. Okay. DNA test. Okay. Well, no, but yeah. 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 So on the, um, so they found her storage unit and I just want to say this for everybody out there before you look it up, if you pull up a, vi- a picture and it's a picture with a bunch of yellow bags in a storage unit, like lawn bags that are yellow, mm-hmm. wrong photo. That is not the Daybell's storage unit. It's not. So you're looking for two bikes, a couple totes. And a bag or two. Yeah, just like the kids. Yeah, stuff. it's like not much. Said, it's not much. The memory blankets. Yeah, the memory blankets kind of and not stuff. like the personal, mm-hmm. like the very personal, personal belongings of these children are in there with their ba- their bikes. So on this, Alex Cox is seen multiple times going and coming from the storage unit. So is Lori. Children are never seen going to the storage unit. Alex, they assume it's Alex. Once you guys watch the videos, <laughs> you guys will know that nobody can say who is with Lori. You see, and that's my complaint. Mm. Shadowy. Should be it's shadowy movie. and super far. Why yeah. there's not a camera on both sides? Just a tad closer. Blows my fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Especially when you buy them as a package deal, yeah. as you would when you're putting 30 up for a storage yeah. unit. You, you buy, would you think. get the extra 10. There's yes. not one right above the... And her storage unit seems to be right next to the door. So there really should be a camera there. If you guys, you know, put us protect yourselves. But there's not. So what you see in one of the videos is you're going to see a big guy with a tote. And he's going... Okay, and just so everybody knows what a tote is, a lot of people don't know what that is. It's the big 
rubber mate plastic thing that you put container. all your container that you put all your Christmas decorations you into. You usually have a lid for the first little yes. while and then it's and Then lost. you lose it. Yes. Yes. It, yes. yes. That. So that's what it is. So you'll see a guy, <laughs> a big guy. That's why I don't know. I think it might be Chad. But anyway, he's bigger and he's going to be struggling with the tote. Hanging over the tote is what appears to be legs. Uh-huh. Or a mannequin. Or, yeah, for some reason, Jean thinks in a cult, <laughs> you hide your mannequin in your storage unit. Well, I would, because that's fucking weird. So maybe. Maybe what there's Jean. What if they got a, a sex doll? That's none of your business. You don't have your brother go retrieve your sex doll while you, How do you stand know? What's the there. Brother? I thought I read in the comments in... Um, they think it might thing, be Chad. Because the other... Wasn't there... Some kind of they they place the brother in another state at the they same did. time they, as that. The whole thing. And you can't get from no. Idaho Falls to Phoenix no. in three hours. No, Not you even can't. on a plane. No, you can't. No. So I don't know who it is. I don't know why okay. everybody is speculating so much on Alex's wrongdoings. Like, yes, I get it. He obviously murdered a man. Yeah. I agree. Not by accident or not on purpose or whatever. Did it if his sister fucking didn't do it and he just said he did. It's a whole other theory. But it's there. You know? So moral to the story is Tuesday will come at you with she didn't show. Either did the children. Or an update on what happens. We might yeah. we might be surprised and she could do the right thing. Maybe her angels will let her, let her know it was all a nasty prank and she can come clean. I'm just saying, if your angels tell you to murder babies, you need to rethink them angels. Oh, no. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm your angels are I a need, little twisted. I need to kill anyone that gets in my way. Just you yeah. sound dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's our Gay Bell Day Bell update. And, oh my god, I coined that. Gay Bell Day Bell update. And that's just because it's cute. There's no offense behind that. There is offense. I don't like them. I'll, I'll, let's fight about it. I don't like the Day no, Bells. I, I don't need to know them. Bar. Oh, no. Yeah, not the gay part. I love yeah. the gays. Not, I'm not saying that. But, you know, you guys yeah, who gives a shit piece it me? together, you guys. Yeah. Says, oh, my God, you guys. And speaking about people who <laughs> just like to talk shit, she just did it. She covered her mouth because I you see. guys. Thank you for your open and honest. <laughs> Next and now. your one star Come review, on you fucking dick. <laughs> By the way, you guys, if you like us, go tell us. Like, please. Positive There's a lot comments. of hate. You know, on iTunes, I go to iTunes to be sad. I'm not even kidding. They eat you apart on iTunes, but I have a theory. If I could comment back to you on iTunes, See? your bitch ass wouldn't say nothing. You know? There's no way to respond. No, I can't track you down and be like, listen here. <laughs> ass munch. You could probably find a computer nerdy person. Well, I'm not that, like, I don't care that much. You're yeah. not going to hurt my They're feelings where I care. Anyways, yeah. So. Yeah. And you know what? There is a, a large part of the population, and it's all about perception anyways, where no matter what you do, You'll have they will find fault in it. Well, yeah. And that's fine. You know, that's I just give nature. everybody a hard time for yeah. hating on us. It's fine. I really don't care. None of you keep me up at night thinking that I give a shit. Excuse me for coughing. But, yeah, but come on, guys. She's, I know you guys think that Jean's like this sweet little girl that I kidnapped and trapped in a room, but she is a mother of fucking grown-ass people. They're all grown, guys. We got the third one in driver's ed currently. Yeah. 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 Okay, and I say that my children are six and two. We have a difference in age. How is our difference? How old are you? Are we, should we not do that right no. now? Okay, well, I'll update you guys yeah. later. Sorry, that was like... It's weird, because like, okay, when my grandma died, when my Grammy died, that's how. That's when I found out how old my Grammy was. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Because she never told anybody? It's the, She I'm, wouldn't I'm, tell me because it was impolite to ask. Yes, it is impolite to ask. She's like, I it's impolite to ask. So like, when my grandma died, I was reading her... Her obituary, and I was like, oh my god! 
You lived a life, Grandma. Like, go. I am approaching the big, the big birthday. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of those, like this one? No, fuck this you. This one? Twice. Yes. This one? Yes. Okay, so if you're <laughs> that 80s, one, baby. if you're that one, then we have 10 years. Nine years, 10 years, maybe yeah. 11. Yeah. So not big. Oh, shh. Oh, my goodness. There's a burn in the carpet. Anyway, so today, now that we gave you guys that update, update, nothing changed. They're crazy and in Hawaii. Hawaiians, look the fuck out. Oh, those people got it. Have you seen them? They're mm -hmm. all like nine feet tall and they're, yeah, they got it. What if she's on an episode of Dog the Bounty Hunter? Hold on. I'm just thinking of a whole wraparound now. Sorry. We will get to this case. I promise. It's only been 10 if minutes. Shut up. If she makes the newest season then of Dog the Bounty fun. Hunter that and she's on fun. it, yeah. like everybody takes this minute to get their claim to fame, which it's not working. But she's but not you know, running from anything. She hasn't even been charged. That's true. Yet. Hold on, Shamari. Let this bitch go on the run first. Simmerdale. Jeez. Captain, Simmerdale. Okay. So. We were talking about guys, love. We're talking about love. This is the week of love. We're even going to have a really big lover later on in the week. Well, he wasn't a big lover. He liked big things. Anyway, um, so to start you out on your Valentine's Day week, month, I would like you guys to remember, you hear all the stories on, oh, she made him mad and he did this. Everybody has one. <coughs> Everybody does. <coughs> but we never tell the stories that remind men what happens when you piss off any woman, really. I don't give a fuck what her race is. I really oh. don't. She was just ballsy enough to do it. But women what, have fire. What we women want to do to you men. Yeah. So we are going to talk about da, 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 <laughs> Jean's cough and the Bobbits. Yay! Now raise your hand if you know the Bobbits. Yes. Take yourself back to the 90s. Mm hmm. Lorena and good old uh, John Wayne. John Boy. Don't say John Boy. That's John, my brother's name. And uh, I feel so sad. I don't. miss my brother. You guys, my brother got picked up by federal agents. It's super sad. Anyway, I messed the fuck out of him. Anywho, so when said incident happened, John Wayne Bobbitt was 26 years old. And Lore, what's her name? Lorena. 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 He, who's like, like five feet tall. She might, may be shorter. Is She's so or little or and or cute. She's so small. But anyway, yeah, it is. It's Lorena Bobbitt. Um, she was 24 when this happened. She's an immigrant. Um, she was... Uh, she married him for his... For a for green, card. green card. And it was a mutual... Yeah. I'm running out of time, so if you want to date me some more, we must marry. We yeah. must wed. Because I think... Or else I gotta the, go. The bad part... Like, I'm cool hanging out with you... Yeah. And then he just married her out of pity so she didn't have to be deported. Yeah. Well, no, they were dating. No, yeah. Yeah, they were dating. And he had asked her to marry him. <coughs> and she was like, well, that's fine and dandy. But, like, we must hurry. Or I must leave. Yeah. And so they go... Oh, yeah. I guess they're known as, Amer as an American couple. Which, hashtag, don't want it. You know? Well, no. But not a couple to inspire, to be like. But I guess they're an American couple. Who fucking uh -huh. knows? I don't make the rules. So at a courthouse on June 18th, 1989, in Manasseh, Virginia. Is that how you say it? Manasseh? Manasseh? I don't know. Where is it? Are you fucking kidding me? We're barely at the start, Jane. Oh, Manassas. 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 Yeah, so Manassas. Um, they showed it. Yeah, they showed the dick on this. <laughs> so, oh, so super <laughs> shout out to my lovely brother-in-law, Dallas, oh. who gave me the um, Thank you. Prime login so that I could watch. Laura 
look right what the fuck is her name Lorena Lorena sorry she came Lorena. out with her own show on Amazon uh, Amazon Prime if you guys have that it's a four part series really really good and they do show you guys the penis so you don't have to google it I will post pictures though so no fear well you haven't seen one severed penis you've seen them all no. yeah really once you've seen them all you've seen them all no dick is a new dick anyway so this place once, before the Bobbits ruined its reputation, once was known for many of the Civil War reenactments oh, cool. that they would do. They still do them. Yeah. But now, when you say Manassas, Virginia, people go, Bobbits. Huh. They don't say Civil War. Huh. Well, some people do. I'm sure not everybody gives a shit now. Maybe now it's gone back to the Civil War. Because I showed her picture to a couple of people, and they thought that she was a famous cook. And I was like, well, she did cut things, so maybe that's where you're coming from. No, no. But no, I don't think no. she cooked anything. I, I don't do think have she's a, a nice cook side of argument for this. Anyways, go ahead. Anyway. Oh, dude, we're down. I'm, I'm down. All, I'm good with this all day long. This shit is, I'm good with it. All of it that happened. I'm good with, I'm good with it. So anyway, so these two people at the beginning of their relationship, toxic. Day fucking one. Yeah. We are toxic as shit. And um, they are both hard-headed. They fight about everything from the radio to the sky to the ground to the TV. Well, that's a fun relationship mm -hmm. that's, you know good for you and your soul and your partner yeah. yeah so they do that okay i was being sarcastic he was good with a life of being like she, you're my chill. wife ma'am like it's just you and me we don't need big things yeah. we're fucking 20 chill and she was like well no i want a bigger house they started out in a studio and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And she wanted Prada shoes. And she wanted more. She always wanted more. I really think that he was just a chump and didn't want to provide the more. But whatever. Um, he was always good at, like, being the saver of, like, money. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's a tightwad. Thrifty. Yeah, Or was she's he not... planning? Maybe he was planning for their 401k. Maybe. Or their uh, retirement. Well, I did say planning. Oh, look, so, it's an Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> She's judgmental. Okay. So one of the stories. Oh, cute. One oh, of the stories God. that is known with the Bobbits is one time when they were driving down the highway, he was zigzagging in and out of traffic, being super scary. For some reason, she decides to grab the steering wheel, which... What? You know, if you're if the person passes out, sure, and you need to grab a steering wheel. Yeah, you know what? I, and I guess you don't know until you're driving around. And you don't know. It's late. You know what I mean? It's too late to know when it's time to know. And, and all of a sudden, you get you know, yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> no. So she grabbed the wheel. Sorry. Yeah, she grabs the wheel. So was he intoxicated? No, they were arguing. So, when she grabs the wheel, he just full-blown out punches her in the face. That's the beginning of the relationship. And, well, it did start with shoving and pushing and... And I do... We'll get to it. I'm not going to say it yet. I won't go on his behalf yet. Anyway. So, he says... He says... That... She beat him. You know. And, and that happens. Uh -huh. That it happens. It does. And I'm not excluding it. Whatsoever. When his attorney met him. He had scratches down his face that happened a week prior. Ouch. Damn. Well, I don't even know if it was a full week. I know it was days later. So... If you scratch someone and days later it is a visible injury, mm -hmm. you'd be crazy. Well, I got a scratch mark from Kitty somewhere. Yeah, yeah. it's gone. Right there. Yeah, give Bam. it up, Jean. So, 
<laughs> she, when I tell you guys everything, we'll go, we'll talk about that. Because mm -hmm. I kind of, it's. I didn't I, think I, I he believe, was out of line. I, I believe mutual spouse abuse in yeah. this situation. Yeah. Which, if you're mad enough, you gotta hit the person that you love, mm -hmm. your husband or your well, wife. Dude, he you need says, to go on a walk around the block and have a think. Yeah. And probably a divorce. But Start like, the um, so she was super jelly, jealous for everyone that doesn't jelly. know how I speak. She was super jelly, jelly about everything. Yeah. Everything. He ain't no ugly dude. Yeah. And, and he was and a especially, Marine. especially, did you see his Marine photos? See? <laughs> oh, see? Sign a girl up. I yeah. would have been done and taken a city. round. Yeah. I would have gone a round or two. Anyway. So. That's what he says that she would beat him over. Jealousy? Yeah. She says he would beat her up and he would say things such as, once a Marine, always a Marine. You Makes know what? Makes no sense. Bullshit. Makes no fucking sense. Who says that in an argument? And I'm not saying she's a liar, but I'm just saying it didn't happen. You know what I mean? I don't, I think, uh, I don't know, my grandpa was a Marine and usually you have a lot of respect for the core that you're you in. would think, and I have family so in them. So after you hit a woman, you're yeah. gonna say that. I call bullshit. I think he would get beat up by a bunch of Marines. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. And my uncle's been in the Marine. He's gone over a couple of times. I have a bunch of family in the air, and all actually all walks of it. I have. I know someone in pretty much every line of duty. Mm -hmm. So I just don't believe that that's you how a I mean? Marine would speak. Yeah. I don't believe that's how a Marine would speak. I wasn't there, obviously. I wasn't even born yet. Give me one more year and I make my appearance. Whoa. But. Whoa, you youngster. Yeah. So, like. <laughs> you missed out on the fun. Yeah. So, <laughs> I missed all of it. So, I just don't know if that's really what happened. But that's just what she claims one of the times. Um, so, she says that he was mean in the bedroom and forced her to have sex a lot. And was vicious. And that he got off on mean sex. He, of course, says this is not true. Okay. So, when you watch one show, they say over a dozen times the police were called. When you watch her show, uh -huh. it only talks about three main times that the police went over there and one of the times John was arrested for a domestic because she had a very split lip. very fat fat yeah. split lip and she no I I, I also, it was multiple yeah. she should have been arrested they went there too. multiple times for domestic yeah. situations and that's documented because it's under that there's paperwork yeah obviously and there re it really wasn't that many times that there was actually something going on and that people make comments about it. Their neighbors recall some arguments, but really the neighbors were just like, you could tell that John was an ass. You know what? And like he just came off as an ass. Some guys are assholes. And dude, some he does. Some are bitches. He does come yeah. off like It's a personality dick. type. He really does. You know? Some people so, would say the same about my co-host. And yes. she's a sweetheart. Am sure. I am I out of line? No, you're not. Okay. Everybody describes me as a see you next Tuesday. No, I was words. I was kinda worried about no. you until we could pow wow and decide and <laughs> So once <laughs> she started stealing and like doing odd things. Yeah. She even got caught stealing a coat from Nordstrom. Oh. She got caught stealing from her place of employment Why? Would you have, have to, to go back tomorrow well she would have to pay the money back plus interest and like it just got crazy she just for some reason well we know why we'll eventually find out why because she wanted more. she went off the deep end she just wanted some more okay so the night that this shit happens we got our buddy staying at the house okay we got our friend he's chilling at the house and John says, buddy, let's go have a drink. Sure. Okay? Okay. They go. They get crunk. Yeah. Long night of having fun. 
partying, boot scooting, boogie getting down, having fun. So she's DD? No. Or has to go pick she up She ain't even a part of this shit. She just needs to stay her ass at home. Oh, okay. So. He comes home. Before she goes to bed, let me say this. Before she goes to bed, she has been reading books about spousal rape, spousal abuse. Yeah. Not books or pamphlets. Yeah. Help pamphlets. Yeah. And <clears throat> um, so she's been reading these pamphlets. She goes to bed or whatever. He comes home from drinking, a night out drinking. He gets into bed with her. She says he takes off her panties. The panties are ripped off. He rapes her and goes back to sleep. He says he doesn't remember any of that. She gets up to go get a drink of water. Mm -hmm. When she goes in, she opens up the fridge. The fridge light shines upon an eight inch knife. Oh. So she takes the knife. We go back to the bedroom, we fondle his penis, we grab it, we yank it, we fucking tss, tss. So you answered my question. I uh -huh. didn't know if it was flaccid or hard at the time. It was flaccid. It was normal. Oh, okay. He was normal. Because he was sleeping. Yes. Yeah. And he re all he remembers oh, is a pull, a up. jerk, and then pain. <laughs> pain? That's what he said. Well, he went back to sleep. After it happened, he was so drunk and so out of it that he was like... I guess you're loose, Fib. Well, he was yeah. just like, that didn't happen. Like, my yeah. dick did not get cut off. When he went and woke his friend up, his friend brushed his teeth. He was like, oh, hospital? Yeah, we'll get there. Like, hold on, Yeah, you brush your teeth. The friend of Yeah, like, I gotta go. Like, I gotta go brush my teeth, and then we'll handle the fact that you have no penis. And I love it, because every... <laughs> every time in this show... That someone says penis, no matter who the person is, do they snicker? They smile. You cannot say it. It's absolutely without a smile. Not funny. It is hilarious. It's not. It is hilarious. It's I like the word penis. So okay. So after years of being allegedly beaten and raped and sodomized, because he would also force her to do anal sex with no lubricants. No, that's not nice. That's it, a malicious she motherfucker. Should've, she should have showed him. She, what I would have cut feels that like. dick off a minute ago. Well, no, you just show him what it feels like. With then. his dick, you, you betcha. Yeah. I'm not even gonna spit on I it. I don't know about all that. No, I believe it. I'm sorry. Okay, so at the beginning of this, when I watch the little clips that YouTube provides and all of that, and there is a 2020 on it, sadly. My Hulu does not go back that far. I could not find the full thing. So I went to this instead. Uh -huh. Amazon Prime instead. Uh -huh. To watch her story. Which does an amazing job. Obviously it's her fucking story. So. Um, when you watch Amazon. You kind of are like. This chick's. Fucking psychotic. Okay. She cut this off because she's crazy. That didn't happen. They were just in a fucking dispute whatever no one's guilty of anything he's a fucking asshole she's dramatic drop it okay mm -hmm. you watch the in-depth where it shows you the whole her testimony mm -hmm. and everything else and you hear from friends and people that weren't even her friend that just came upon her in days before this happened you're like, okay, he was more than just an asshole. Like, I, the recount of her rape that night and the first time that he anally raped her. So if she came to you and horrible. said, this is what happened to me, what would you say to her? Would you oh, be I like, believe girl, it. you're leaving? Yeah. Let's, you need yeah. to get away from him type situation? Yeah. Okay. Even though she did, she did openly tell people. So there was this client of hers. She did nails. Okay. Okay. If I don't know if it matters, but they, she's a Latino woman. I don't know. I don't think that matters, but she is. So she would do uh, nails. Waylon, yeah. I believe okay. she, she was amazing at doing nails. Yeah. Okay. This lady calls, she gets an appointment. It's her that she gets. This is days before this happens. Yeah. And the lady sits down 
And she's like, all right. And she even tells on the camera, she's like, it was the worst I've ever gotten in my life. My eyebrows were uneven. My nails were shit. But the manicurist touched her very deeply. And she was the one that helped break this case. Even will give her the proof that she needed, essentially. Because when she sat down to get her nails done, she pulls her sleeves back uh -huh. to get ready to do this lady's nails. And this lady sees bruises, horrible, horrible bruises all over her arm, like around her wrist and stuff. Oh. And so she looks at it and she quickly pulls her shirt down. Yeah, because she forgot. Yeah. And like covers it back up. We've all been there. If you've been in that situation, you've been there. I'd walk outside and not put makeup on and have a massive black eye and completely forgot I had the black eye. You know what I mean? And I'd go get a soda and get that look. But yeah. So... She told the lady, she's like, my husband did this. Like, my husband beats me. Her friend knew. And so, okay, so one of the things that they say, and she, she did make this statement, but she said that um, pretty much he was selfish because he came and he finished and did not okay so she says he always has orgasm he doesn't ever he doesn't wait for me ever to have orgasm he is selfish you know damn it cut it off motherfucker y'all better That's think about important. that next time you just are like I'm just gonna nut real quick it's is she ready it's an old school world. Ladies first. No. Well, correct? Well, shit. Someone was taught ladies first. See? <laughs> he learned the rules. <laughs> so, um, like I said, he was asleep when this attack happened. Yeah. So the friend wakes up. She's the one who calls the police. But by the, this time, he's already meandered his way into the hospital. Yeah. He obviously lives. <laughs> when she leaves the apartment... <laughs> She's in such a fog that she walks out of the apartment with the knife and the dick. Okay? We got dick in our left hand, knife in our right. Uh -huh. We're driving like this. We still got the dick in the left hand, the knife in the right. Nobody saw her no one, drive down no, the road no one notices with a big this. ass knife that's bloody and no. something pink and squishy in her other hand. No, it's so small. And I'm not... I'm sorry. That's he was that's offensive. Yeah, he was no, sleeping. <laughs> it was cold outside. <laughs> Whatever excuse he needs. <laughs> anyway, it was little. Uh -huh. So, you can't really see it. I'm surprised they found it. Anyway, she finally realizes it. And she was like, Dick, ew. Ugh! Tosses it out the window. Yeah. And then when she she goes to her work for some Probably reason. Probably next time would have just, thought about a river. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it floats. Anyway, so she goes there. That's where she throws away the knife. And she throws away the knife in the garbage outside of her employment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They retrieve the knife. Yeah. She's nice enough to call 911. Report where in the road about. She threw this dick out the window. <laughs> so me and Jean were talking about this previously. I think what I would have done in a moment of anger like that. Is I would have put that dick in your mouth and bopped you on the forehead. <laughs> and had you choke on your own dick. You know what I mean? Like stuff that shit in your mouth and bop you one real quick. Like fuck you. Bam. I'm out. <laughs> and just Don't leave. piss off. <laughs> Jesus. Eric's dick will never get cut off. I promise. <laughs> uh, no, I can't do it because I made a statement. Um. So. Like I said. She's tells them what happened. She does not hide from the fact that she cut his penis off. You know what? That probably saved her it legally in the It did. Day. So, okay, this is like I said. Okay, so she when they found his penis, it was an exhaustive search. No one wanted to touch it. 
Well, you have gloves. No one gum. wanted to touch it. And they have I guess, those, those I guess one of the guys tweezers. was so religious that he was just like, oh, hell no. It's over there. Like, go get it. Like, God did not say that was cool. Haven't you ever watched, like, side note, the cops episode, and then the officer has to somehow subdue the naked guy that's tweaking out, right? Oh, yeah. But they have a really hard time. Because yeah. how do you... Oh, you grab that fucker tackle. by the balls and pull him down, bro. A female cop can, yeah, but... No, I'm kidding. No. Anyways, go ahead. I'm so, kidding. okay. So, after being washed and put on ice from the 7-Eleven nearby... Yeah. He didn't even thank the guy that went and got the ice for his penis. Really? Dick. Yeah. Well, he's a dick, not the dick. Well, no, you need <laughs> ice for it, ding dong. But, yeah. So... The 7-Eleven rescues him. Good job, guys. Yeah. They provide the ice that saves this. And it's fully functional. Yeah. There's no leakage. There's no weirdness. There's no nothing. He's done two pornos. I didn't. So it does Why'd work. you ruin that? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she just ruined the best part of the whole story, you we'll guys. We'll just stop the whole podcast yep. now. Yep. Fucking, that's it. it. Bye. I didn't know if you knew God. that or not. So she was arrested the night of June 23rd, <laughs> like it matters. And, um, yeah, that quote I gave you guys of that he always orgasm and he doesn't wait for me to orgasm, he's selfish, mm -hmm. was a recording from Peter Wetson, a detective, and the transcript was read aloud at trial Yeah. by Mary Grace. O'Brien, the Prince William County Courthouse Assistant. Oh. That was very nice. During the trial, the couple revealed details of their very violent relationship and the past events that led up to the assault. She claims that she was sexually assaulted, physically and emotionally abused <clears throat> during their marriage. Um, he... She said that he was infatuated with pain and hurting her during intercourse is one of her things. So, and, um, she becomes pregnant. She goes and she buys a cute little bib. And when John's eating his food, she goes up behind him and puts the bib on him. It's supposed to be very cute. Mm. It's not. Uh -huh. He takes it off and he proceeds to tell her that she's going to be the worst mother. They're not ready to be a mom. She's not ready to be a mom. If she does have this kid, he's not going to fucking do anything for it. He's not going to provide in any way, shape, or form. He does not want this child. He tells her, you are getting an abortion. Oh, Jesus. And he tells her, who do you pick? Me? Or a baby you don't even know. Who do you love more? So she picks him. No, you picked baby. Well, she picked him. Um. So after that, she was never, ever, ever the same. That is part of the re. That's the base of the craziness that led her up to snapping. Yeah. That never. That changed her. Well, that's pretty. That's because she wanted to be a mom. A she wanted to be a mom. Oh, desperately wanted to be a mom and have a family with him. Well, how would he know what kind of mom she would be, anyways? Well, that's just what he told her. He was that much of an asshole, and he doesn't deny this. Being an asshole? No, he does not. As you see him right here, right now, that is him today. Well, not right there. That's obvious. Sorry, we're no, watching. He, he looks, but like yeah. An he does not deny it. The only thing that he denies, of course, besides the rape, is the beating her. He says her injuries would come from them, him stopping her while she was beating him. So it would be in his defense of getting away from her, holding her back pinning her down so that she would stop hurting him. Mm. That's what he says. He says, I never, he said, I pushed her. 
I'd push her, but I never hit her. Mm -hmm. So that's how we also see that's that picture banging. He's so pretty back then. <laughs> but so, yeah, you know, it's just that's the basis of it. So eventually all of this piling up and she's like I said, she's telling people. So more people are telling her. You need to leave the situation. Yeah. Like, he's obviously the worst thing that's ever happened. Leave him. And then she would say, well, I can't because he's threatened me. He took all of her immigration documents. Oh. He has possession of them. Oh, one of those. He's one of those. Oh. He, he straight told her. He, to this day, he still sends her Valentine's cards, flowers, all sorts of craziness. She's so cute. In her documentary, she's like, I cut your penis off. Like, what more do I have to do? Like, how many more hints do I have to drop? Huh. Like, I cut your fucking penis off. Yeah. Like, bro, we're not friends. <laughs> we stopped being friends. He should have taken And then he divorce. even makes a comment. He makes a comment and he's like, at the end of it, like on the fourth or whatever. I won't tell you guys where it's at. I don't want to ruin it. But he makes a comment of like, oh, yeah, now... Yeah, I mean, I would like to, I would love to have had a family and had kids with her and made it work with her. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You're a bigger piece of shit. I'm sad your dick works. You're not supposed to talk to somebody that you know. Yeah. You're not supposed to talk to anybody that way. Yeah. Ugh. So, okay. When they, she cut his penis off. That's her bad thing. And then she also pointed out that he took all of her money. Uh-huh. Her paychecks and everything else, he took that. So he, he she was kind of trapped. She was. In a horrible way. But there are resources in every community. There are out. when you're brave enough. Jean, don't get yeah. me onto this again. Kay. You know how I feel. <laughs> not everybody believes that the world is going to save them because that's not real that that's not realistic yeah it's not unfortunately well not unfortunately now as time has grown on and it's bigger mm -hmm. it is more likely that you will get help nowadays mm -hmm. than it was back in my situation and certainly back in this and certainly time. back in the yeah. early 90s yeah you got to think about it okay when these motherfuckers were popping off in pennsylvania right mm -hmm. or where is this virginia sorry virginia sorry virginians when this was popping off in Virginia, you had OJ killing his girl and getting away with it in California. Mm -hmm. You had the Menendez brothers. You had everything with abuse. Bam, 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 everywhere in the spotlight. I think it was the Clarence Thomas thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there was a bunch of shit going on back in 93, early 90s, late 80s. That brought attention to this mm -hmm. and how sad. So maybe nowadays, I guess I shouldn't be so much judgmental. I'm not in a place where I need help, so I don't know. Maybe today it is easier than it was back when I was in need. But anyway. There's more of a voice than there yeah. used to be for sure. Yeah. So, um, she, his trial, he got charged with spousal rape. And he went to trial, and he was found not guilty uh -huh. of his charges, of course. And he, their, his trial happened first, and then hers. Uh -huh. She also was acquitted of all charges, and she had to go to a psych ward for, um, sorry, excuse me, for a certain amount. I think it was like forty days or something like that. And then she got, it was some, some time, and then she completed their thing, their assessment hmm. or whatever and got to be released only because she did get off with being criminally insane. So you do have to go to a mental hospital, get evaluated and be released from that hospital. To go through all when, of that. Yeah. Once you are de deemed insane. Yeah. We don't just let you go home. Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> a cut above the rest. Cute slogan on a shirt. So, um, like I said, they both were acquitted of charges. Um, she always believed and told everybody, even through her trial, that um, 
she was deathly afraid. Like, this was a mental snap. And she didn't take her anger out on John. She took it out on his penis because that was the source of all of her pain. Well. Is what all the psychologists and everybody said during court. Is like, that's why she cut the penis off and didn't kill him. Was because that she was just taking her pain, the thing that hurts her. She was getting revenge on the thing that hurts her. And some people think that she, and I'm going to tell you all, all sides of it. Because, I mean, I don't really know either or. And neither do you because you weren't there. So That's you can't true. fucking argue with That's me. That's true. Well, you can. But some people say that she was just so jealous and so crazy because he says, I told her I was divorcing her. That's why she cut my dick off. Oh. He's like, she was, and she was, she had given some of her belongings to the neighbors. Mm -hmm. And the neighbors were holding onto some of her shit. She was sleeping in that apartment. For some reason, she was still sleeping with him in there. So, and he was like, bitch was moving out. You know what I mean? Like, he was like, I don't, he couldn't even tell you. He was like, they were like, did you sleep with her that night? Did you have sex with her? He was like, I don't know. He's like, all I felt was her playing with my dick and then my dick was gone. Like, I'm not stuttering. People, that's what I recall. Yeah. Even to this very day, he's like, yeah, dude, I was sleeping and then I wasn't. And then my dick was off. Bam. He says she was mad that he was so drunk that he couldn't fuck. So that's why she did it. He, that's what he says. He says no. he says he felt her playing with yeah. it and trying yeah. to, you know, wake, him up. wake it up. Ooh, come on. But he wouldn't awake. No. He wouldn't rise no. to the challenge. <laughs> so punishment for that, she cut it off. That's one that's what some people think. You don't go home smash then. Yeah, that's <laughs> what some people really do believe. Other people believe that he really was a monster and that she cut it off in a psychotic break and it wasn't out of jealousy. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to say she wasn't spousally raped because that's not my spot. And he you was know. acquitted. And he was acquitted of his charges. I cannot say he did it. I don't see why she would want to make stories up like that and put that type of stuff in the public eye when just beating her would have been suffice. Mm -hmm. Why she would want to go into... Dude, and she goes. Into detail. Into it. And you can just tell on this poor girl's face that she's reliving something. I'm not going to say it was rape or it was just she just didn't want to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I can't say that everybody always says yes. During that time, I said no. Okay. But I have a hard time believing that I have a dear, dear friend of mine who, well, used to be a dear friend, who was incarcerated for a false rape charge. And I know it was a false rape charge because it happened at my home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the story she gave sounded better than this girl's and her story was fake as fuck. You know what I mean? So I can't, I can't physically say because I don't know I wasn't there. Yeah. So I'm not going to say she's not. She wasn't. Is all I'm saying. It was like, I'm going to put it out there that she believes that she was raped. Yeah. In her eyes, that's what happened. And I mean, now you got to think how far we've come being wives. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because before, really, when you got married, that's pretty much what you fucking were told. You got your wedding ring and they were like, now bend the fuck over, pop me up some babies, make sure there's a boy in there and let's get it popping. Like this name must live on. Mm -hmm. You know, that was your job. Chicks would go to quote unquote college to become a better housewife mm -hmm. and they would teach you to make sure you folded your napkin the right way to impress his boss. Mona Lisa smiles. Such a good movie. Do you think Heart that movie? Oh, I watched that movie. Oh, good crier. But Do you think yeah. that the possibility that maybe cause there are mental conditions where 
Oh, dude, they I believe she out fucking they snapped. Don't know. Well, well, I'm talking about him. Oh, him. They black out and force sex on someone and don't realize what He came doing. from a hard do you life. Do that? Dude, I do. I thought the auntie raised him and the other... But, it, dude, he can't... He comes from... That's what I mean, is you only got the YouTube clip. No, I did more than that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, dude. John, there was a whole bunch after that. Yeah, he did not have an easy <laughs> life growing up. He did not come from cool circumstances. Mm -hmm. Hers is, she really, sadly, she doesn't give much on her family background. Mainly to protect her family. Yeah. Which is so sweet. It's really to protect her family because... Even at court, they were like, oh, would your family approve of you going on an unsupervised date? And she had to be like, no, my family wouldn't approve of that. You know, like her, that was her family. So she doesn't really talk about her family much. But of course, his was not a good bring up. So he was like, yeah, I'll bash on my family yeah. all day. And his brothers, dude, were on talk shows. The one brother, his one brother. Oh, my God. Okay. These guys are at the two opposite ends of the hospital. Husband uh -huh. and wife. Okay. His wiener's getting attached over here. She's over here getting checked out because they're doing a test. And she ha did have seminal fluid and signs of sexual intercourse uh -huh. that day. So they do all that. And the brother, the older brother, goes a looking for her. He wants to fucking take her out, dude. He's like, I'm going to kill her. He's like, I'm going to go find her and I'm going to kill her. Well, you said older brother? Yeah. Well. Well, and like they went on a talk show and I they're like. see you doing that. Oh, you cut my brother's talk, wiener off, dude. Want to go I talk dare to you cut my brother's minute, wiener off. Yep, I'm going to talk to you. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you real fucking quick. <laughs> I'm going to bash your dumb so head So you in. get it. <laughs> so like, I get it. I get it. And I get it because they're, they're on the talk show and the one brother's <laughs> like. <laughs> Obviously, she's evil. You know what I mean? She took his manhood. And, like, mm -hmm. this poor guy, he sits in between his brothers with his head down like a chump. Because they're like, he took his manhood away. This is a punk-ass bitch right here. She took his wiener. And, like, he was like, what? Well, it works. It's, it was John put knows. back on. And, like, it was fine. And, like, their Bro, brothers are like, no, know. dude. She took his manhood. And he head down the whole time. It's great. So you're like, oh, sad. Stop saying that. Quit picking Like, he can him. hear you. Why yeah. is he there? <laughs> like, why do they put you put in the middle for this? In the green room with the headphones. Yeah. And uh -huh. they're like, yeah, beat a bitch. She took his dick. <laughs> like, that shit's so sad. Oh, my no, and I'm God. not laughing about the abuse. Even she says, she even admits, she is like, we are both victims. Like, we are both guilty. Uh huh. We are both victims of each other's crazy bullshit. I took it a step too far. Okay, but... And I cut his dick off. Genital assault. I don't think it's called genital assault, but that's a good idea. Oh, my gosh. I don't think it is. Mutilation. Yeah. Because that was my other... That was my other point. Because that's... Well, she was like, in a psychotic the, break. The, well, what happens when there's no news coverage or, or stories about the poor ladies that have to have their, their clip cut off? As in the name of oh religion, my that's God. genetic mutilation too. So they don't have a TV show on Prime, and they should. They should. Yeah, because they should. So I'm listening it's, to it's, it's a religious at the thing on the come. fourth season. I think it is. They even say that bunch of women's clits are getting cut off, and no one bats an eye, but one dick gets cut off in America, and we lose our minds. Yeah, which is that's eye opening. No one says, and that's just it. I'm not saying women are so weak and so sad and whatever. Those are the underwear. That's how bad they were torn. He says he did it with his foot and that he doesn't remember. Anyway, so back then for her, if she would not have testified on her own behalf I, yeah. and tell her story, I truly believe this woman would be in prison today. Mm-hmm. Like, if they really just put John up there. And even he went and testified in court. He was like, okay, yeah, I was a dick. I was an asshole. Should she have cut my dick off? No. Like, people, that's what we're here for. We're not here for me being an asshole. We're here because she did something wrong this time. Well, uh, you don't have to be mean to people. Well, and it helped, it helped her story that she did confide 
in more than one person. And her fucking friend, dude, took advantage of her. So her friend is her spokesperson when this whole thing happens. First happens, her boss. It is her boss, oh, her boss friend, her best friend, whatever. Takes advantage of her, dude. Starts fucking taking money off the top and shit. Oh. For interviews and like shit like that. She's like, oh yeah, she'll do it. I, I just get 10% or She's something like that. Manager. Yeah. Yes. Like how fucked up. That's your, this is your friend's horrific story. That she went through. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Well, we won't go to lie because he gets to tell his sad story too oh, on yeah. his talk shows, and he goes and tells everybody that he was abused and beaten, and said that he had a small wiener. You know. Do you think it was a mutual thing? Mm-hmm. I do too. Mm-hmm. And I'm firmly confident in saying that because they've said it. <laughs> like these people have sat on this on my TV screen, talked to me, looked at me. And said we were both crazy. Did like, you watch his movies? So I was gonna Pornhub. Yeah. The video. I heard it. I was. By good old Ron Jeremy. It. One of them is. Yeah. One of them is. I got him right here. I got him right here because <laughs> one of them's great. So okay. So. <laughs> so he goes and he gets a dick enlargement surgery, mm. and the doctor that does it. Tells him, he's like, oh, dude, I'm the best. I'm the best of the best of the best. It's not the guy that originally fixed his dick, which I think if you're messing with a dick that you should have called the guy that fixed the dick. Anyway, he doesn't contact that guy because if he would have, that guy would have been like, whoa, whoa, no. Don't touch that. That's Why? beautiful. Oh, Don't you dare. Yeah. You can't enlarge it. Yeah. He does it botched surgery. No! The doctor that he has do no. it has a bunch of lawsuits oh. against him oh, for shit. malpractice and he shit. Didn't do, he no, didn't he do didn't yellow book this dude. Gosh. And this dude was on TV. Like, no one dug into this fucking doctor's background and was like, hey, hey, someone tell him that this guy has a lawsuit <laughs> for something. Anyway, so he does his second porn. It's called um, Frankenweenie, I think. Oh, no. Frankenpenis. That's the one that Ron Jeremy directs. Uh-huh. And, um, butt nude at, oh, butt man at nudes, a poppin', oh, poppin' two. That was the other porn he was in. Butt man. Wait, why does that say butt man? Does he do butt sex? I can't. What? <laughs> But man, anyway, I should have read the title before I said it out loud, but I didn't. Anyway, so, um, yeah, uh, that was the 90s. <laughs> I have to watch them. Okay. Now I right, must, sorry. I probably I'm will watch. I did watch, they do show <laughs> preview clips. They do show preview clips in the, um, in the, this documentary, like the beginning sequence of it. Uh-huh. And, uh, you watch it and you're like, this is so great. Cause he's standing there talking next to a chick and he's like, so what are you doing in a place like this? And like, who wrote the first porn that said that that's how that conversation happened? Never in my adult life, even in my ho days, which girl, ho days, fun days, not slut days, ho days. Fun days. But not even then could you walk up to me and be like, what's a girl like you doing in a place like this? And I'm like, looking for big cock to suck. No, <laughs> any. Never. Never in my life has that conversation ever been present. I'm like, no, for sure, homie, me too. Solid, chilling, word. You know what I mean? <laughs> Never. I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for a friend. Never been like, to get fucked. Can you help me? It's a porn, though. I know. But, like, even when the delivery guy comes to the door, in my world, I'm like, this delivery guy is calling the police. And he's going to be like, I showed up. I knocked. She said, you want to come inside for some pizza? And she raped the hell out of me. Like, you know what I mean? (laughs) It just don't happen like it does in the porn, yeah, people. It yeah. just don't. Yeah. You got to watch his porns, though. If you guys do it, I'll do it. Peer pressure. All right. So that's our story for this beginning 
of our love week, you guys. Keep in mind, yes, you may be able to kill your old lady, but she will cut your fucking dick off. Yeah. Don't push your buttons. Yeah. And I just want, that's a real opener for men. Just think. Think about all the thoughts. Think about all the thoughts your wife has had about doing harm to you and your penis. And all those times that you've walked into her room and your wife went, ugh. And you're like, she's not mad. Okay, but really, now she wait a minute, me. wait a minute. So you really wish harm? You harm bet your dark. ass. When you do me dirty, okay, even in an argument, check it out. When me and my husband argue, oh, no. I go for the jugular. I am a craftsman of words. Yes. I like to cut you below the belts, verbally, a million times. Like, I go for your soul. I'm not just going to argue with you to argue with you. I'm not fucking five. Like, if you're going to fight with me, let's fight about it. Like, let's make it a thing. Huh. We can make it a big, drawn-out thing. And turn it into a thing. And like, that's one thing my husband hates about me is because we really don't fight and argue because I'm just like so zen in life. And I'm really over that stage of life. Yeah. That I'm like, but really, does it matter? Like, is what you're mad about doesn't matter. Yeah. Is it going to change the course of the action we're, we're doing today? You know. Well, yeah. Like, did what I just do affect you to where your life is now changed? Did me coming home and not kissing you and saying hi to you and going off and doing something first, is that life altering at that point in time? Yes. It is hurtful. I hurt your feelings. You don't feel important. Well. I get it. But when I've seen your handsome face walk through the door, you walk by me and go <coughs> take a shit plug in your phone or whatever I don't get kisses right away I do not complain <laughs> you know and when I do you're like kisses girl I was busy like give me five seconds you know what I mean so I'm like I just want five seconds hypothetical fight not really one but you know kisses will come to you when they come to you mm -hmm. but like if you're an asshole <laughs> and like my ex my abusive ex oh bro the dreams i had cutting your dick off would have been the nicest thing i would have done to you i am mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i got stabbed but following in my in my girl area okay uh -huh. i've been stabbed with a beer bottle during an altercation with a relationship person uh -huh. and during that altercation i wanted to harm this person yes but he shanked me first now i did not report anything or anything like that i super glued my cut up and went about my day because i was under age too so it was like a whole thing it would have turned into like a whole big thing so i was like no this isn't worth it he loves me yeah i'm dumb i'm a kid anyway but like i was just like oh he poked me first but like that fight was turning into like a life or death situation mm -hmm. one of us was gonna come out of it and thankfully it took like it happened i was like tss, poked right tss. well not poked i was stabbed but then i look at him and i was like what the fuck and that's all i said i said what the fuck yeah and he said shit 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 and left <laughs> wasn't his plan apparently no, it wasn't. He's. I told him he hit like a bitch, and yeah. so he broke the beer bottle and shanked me. I don't think it was like a planned. It wasn't. It wasn't planned. I know it wasn't. He was drinking that beer, yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't planned. Yeah. And he was drunk, and a meth addict. That is not but an no. excuse. No, it's not. But like that's it's what. Not. But that's his mind state. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's his mind frame. I'm not gonna just tell my side of the story. I know. And not be like he was fucking up for. A hot second and drinking. <coughs> but, I, I mean, dude, shit just happens. You know? And, unfortunately, this guy had this done to him. 
But maybe if he would have been nicer, this wouldn't have happened to him. Yeah. And he probably should thank her. She probably should get some type of stipend or some shit from his porns. Which I guess that they didn't do very good either. Ron what? Jeremy robbed him. Did he? Yeah. Uh, have you ever watched his porns? Some of them. Really? Yeah. I can't get past him. His face. I can't get past his face. I can't watch it. Because I'm like, why? What are you doing in here? <laughs> like, this is not who I need right now <laughs> at this point in time. You want to put him on a they sitcom? They don't focus on the face. I know, but like you want to put him on a sitcom and like put him on a couch next to a skinny guy smoking pot. Cool. You know, he's that weird uncle that like shows up and ruins everything. <laughs> like he's Especially just. when he just randomly takes yeah. his clothes off. Yeah. Oh and, like, no. I saw one porn. Sorry, we're going to go on this. <laughs> if your kids are in the room, it's your fault. So like I saw the one, one of them where he's like Her sitting fault. back all fat and gross and like yeah okay he has a big dick woohoo but like what the fuck maybe and these, there's maybe there is a creeper fetish out dude there. these there's adorable feet yeah the feet feet guy fetish. i don't know i don't know because there was these hot ass chicks dude and it was like you're here for them right you're like i'm definitely here for you ma'am like i came here to visibly see you obviously yeah but like they're rubbing up on him right in his hair and like it's sweaty yeah because of the light yeah 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 like you can tell like it's turning into like a basting a turkey situation where it's like slippery and gross and crevices are warm and like just how much money did that poor bitch make and i like how how his curls are always wet and oh always look. always on point his hair looks great but think about the crevices that these women stick their hands into to rub a titty. Like, I get tit, like swampy tit, bro, okay? Like tit swamp, been there. I got big boobs. Happens to every girl that has big boobs. It's just the same as swamp ass. It's gross. No one likes it, but it happens. And those lights and everything, it's just horrible. But it's just so crazy. <coughs> it's the the shit that can happen in an instant blows my mind. Like literally, open the fridge, see the knife. Even if you're getting the glass of water and you look over and see the knife block, mm -hmm. to look at it and be like, "Yep, yep, it's going down for real." <laughs> And you go in there and fucking do it. Take it with you. Toss it out the window. And like you imagine coming to in your vehicle and you have a <coughs> dick in your hand. And you're like, well, this is not mine. Where did you come from, little guy? Gross. And you toss it out the window. And then you think and you're like, oh. Shit, that's John's dick. <laughs> yeah. So then she called to yeah. mm -hmm. report where she was and where the dick was. Yeah. So hopefully your guys' wives are that nice. You know what I mean? You know. <sighs> even Steve Harvey even asked her. He was like, well, why'd you give the dick back? And she was like, oh, well, I was raised to be a good person. Yes, you were. Well. <laughs> <laughs> And just, I think that if there's red flags like that, maybe dip out before then. Don't you dip guys out love how Jean you just feel sees like you everything? Need to cut his dick off. Seriously, she That's didn't. Excessive. She didn't hit that point That's until excessive. she was at that point. I guess. That's why it's. Well, that's why she got away with it. Is that was her defense? Is she did not. It's kind of it's kind of odd to be the heat it. of the moment when you have to go all the way from the fucking kitchen thinking about your actions and what you're about to do. She said it didn't happen all until she way. saw it. She says I saw it. I went in there. Shit popped off. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like I broke. And then you're like, no, you didn't. I know. See. See, and I don't believe that shit. I think you laid in that bed next to him 
mad as fuck. Because he's selfish. Because he's, he's an asshole. asshole. And if you're telling people that he's hitting you. Yeah. But you still love him. This is her first love. This is her first experience with love and being wooed. And I'm sure her mother told her she didn't have to stay with You don't know what your gonna... mom said. You well, you, you don't, don't know what she saw growing up. That are abusive. No, you don't. Don't be dumb. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. In her head, she was like, she even said, I knew it was going to be hard and I knew it was going to be a battle, but damn. Like, I don't think either one of us thought it was going to be this. They did public appearances together. They've uh -huh. done talk shows together. They've done, they did the 2020 together, I believe. So, okay, real quick, only because it's super funny. This guy's luck. I uh, kid you not, sucks. So, this is, he He just won his court. Yeah. What's on my TV right now. He just won it. His lawyer, you guys, is about to give you guys a good little, a good little speech. It's actually pretty good. You guys think I fuck up is bad? <laughs> you guys are dicks. Listen to this guy. Hold on. Let me but think. this is uh, John's lawyer. John's lawyer. Okay. After he just got acquitted yeah. of, per, of, raping his wife and so then he goes and answers questions john's testimony yesterday was very persuasive anybody who's met john and spent time around with john the one thing that everybody has told me consistently is that he's incapable of telling the truth even when it hurts him he's incapable of telling the truth i mean i mean telling wow that's right that ah thank god i didn't say that upstairs i just want to say uh, how fucking funny is that how great is that? He's incapable of telling the truth. <laughs> Go ahead and judge me. Uh-huh. What name did I get wrong? <laughs> no, but... And by the way, I want you to check out the dramatic change in wives here. Let me just show you a little. Oh, he already got married? Yeah, we already, we're already on to the next wife. Okay. Let me just show you this little gem when they walk out of the courthouse. Very cute couple. Oh, that's her. She's very cute. I like her glasses. She looks very m mature. And he said he did a bunch of stuff just for pl pl like publicity. Uh -huh. Blah, 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 blah. And so I don't know if that was like the whole thing. Hmm. Behind the second marriage. I really don't know what the hell's going on there. But. Well I don't know if that's really his wife. I don't know. They say it's his wife. But. Back then all you had to do is live with a dude for a couple of weeks. And you're like yep that's your wife. Well and he got in trouble for domestics after. Oh week. yeah. And we. Oh yes. So. um, <laughs> She's done gel time. Since this. She did not do gel time for cutting off the dick. Yeah. But she, she beat up her mom while they were watching TV. You mom, know, and yeah. Mom wouldn't stop talking. And so she beat mom up. Mrs. Topfire. Um, that's why I thought, that's why. That's anti, probably. probably. Yeah. Why are they holding hands? Because that's anti. That's nasty. Yeah. Anyway. But, um, Sorry. <laughs> Only Andy was wearing blouses like that. Seriously. Um, it's okay. <laughs> uh, switch topics. Anyway, sorry. I went completely off topic there. But, like, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. What, what the fuck was I saying? Do you even remember? Uh, no. But okay. we shouldn't stay with abusive people. No. Life don't is stay not with worth people. it at all. Seriously. No. Oh, yeah. Both of them are abusive. She yeah. punched mom. Oh, yeah. She punched mom. Obsessive. Sorry. Yeah. So she went to jail for punching mom. Mm -hmm. Since his... Oh, and I just also want to say, by the way, during her trial and everything else, um, people couldn't go there to, like, have her back. Like, her people, her Italian people, I guess, is what they were trying to pretty Venezuelan. much say. What? Isn't she from Venezuela? Yeah. Well, no, they didn't ship them all the way, but, like... Oh. They were, taxi drivers were, um, helping them get to court oh. for free. Oh, right on. And people from court and everything were also, like, helping 
give people rides and stuff so that they could go and defend her and show her their support for her, which was mm-hmm. kind of cool. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It kind of choked me up that, like, she had so much... Because she goes from being hated because his trial happens first. Yeah. When his trial happens first, that's his chance to say, hey, just so you guys know, she did it because I wouldn't have sex with her. Like, I got my dick chopped off because I wouldn't have sex with her. I wasn't mean or any of that shit. She beat me. I'm the victim here. He got to tell that story first. Mm-hmm. So the world was like, yeah, you're a, bitch. You're a dick. Why'd yeah. you cut his dick off? Yeah. Like, how dare you do that to a man? Like, you shouldn't have done that. You deserve to be in prison. You deserve to rot. So on and so forth. And but then she, she examined, gets her though. chance. Yeah. Didn't you say that? Well, she all was that all that it similar? proved is that they had sex. It didn't show for it didn't show that it was like rough sex. Or rape. Or rape. Yeah. It wasn't it didn't show any forced trauma. So they couldn't go into court saying for sure that like this is what happened. All it did show was that he obviously is lying about that night because it showed that he was a liar because he says they didn't have sex. It showed that they did have sex. Yeah. It's really all it was. It just goes to show that he lies. But he admits that he was so drunk that he is not sure. And he is like, I don't know. Oh, and I want to say Franken, the Franken weenie porn starts out with the surgery of his porn of I mean, of his dick enlargement. Oh, really? Yeah. It starts out, because I guess it turned into, like, a hideous beast, he said. But, like, his wiener got all messed up. Did he go back to the original urologist to... No, he just got a messed up wiener. What? You don't settle with that. I don't know. That's the lady who she talked to. She's super sweet. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of her. But she just looks like she was, okay, so hold on. I'm going to tell you guys her lawyer's closing arguments real quick. Because his closing argument, once you hear it, you're going to be like, yep, thank God she had that lawyer. If she didn't have that lawyer, no way in hell would she have gotten off. This closing argument is a damn masterpiece. Yeah. A masterpiece. <laughs> this is what she used. Hold on. I heard a lady say one time. Bam, here, listen. That a woman's body is her home. That her body is the most intimate contact that she has with her soul to rape a woman. It's not only a violation of her body, but it's also a ravishment of her soul. It is a direct attack on the emotional structure that holds a woman together. If you believe that that's what that woman felt, and she went into that room and did that act, the verdict is not guilty. You heard a lot of talk. Bam, son. Now tell me that was not a masterpiece. Well, Drop yep. the fucking mic. Yep. How could you walk away from that statement? And I do. I still got goosebumps. <laughs> Ugh. It's poetic. Poetic. And then the his poor lawyer. She's sitting there and she's like, "Well, fuck." Okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> that was fucking great awkward well she's not even his she's for the state obviously but she's re- representing him in some sort of way because it is yeah. his wiener that we're speaking of in yeah. this set instance hold on one second because i think there's another clip hold on i gotta show you guys she retaliated against physical abuse sexual abuse forced abuse anal abuse this girl was crumbling she was falling apart she snapped she did not have the wherewithal at that moment. I mean, you know, 
To me, this is so obvious. It's got to be obvious to you. When you're in this unhealthy state of mind, can there be any question? She could not control her impulsive act. Ladies and gentlemen, what she did cannot be excused. It cannot be condemned. And it cannot be justified. I ask you to find her guilty of malicious wounding. This lady is ill. And every doctor has told you that. This lady has been stripped of all dignity, of all self-confidence. She needs a lot of help. She needs your help. By your verdict, you can restore a little bit of self-respect so she can walk out of this courtroom with her head up. I know you can do the right thing. And that's because justice Ladies and gentlemen, it's for all, for the weak as well as the strong. Thank you. Fucking round of applause, sir. Please <laughs> go on. Blair Howard, my friend, you are a genius. Tell me that if you were a juror on that trial right there and you heard that closing argument that you would back only one guy, one guy. Yeah. They had to change a mind of. That's it. Yeah. Everybody else was like, you're right. You're right. We'll, we'll protect her. We'll help her. We'll do the right thing. They and want he's her like, to, he's, to get the mental health yeah. she needs. And this one Which guy is, is like, you guys, she cut his fucking dick off. Well. Can we please go back to that exhibit A? Give me the dick pic. It's not attached. <laughs> Give me the dick pic. <laughs> and she did amazing. The one guy was like surgical precision. So just think. She was so nice about this situation. She didn't hack at your dick. No, she did not. She suck. picked a sharp. She picked a knife. A sharp knife. A good one. It, there's a bone in there, folks. No, there's not. Well, it's, it's, it's a muscle. cartilage. Yeah. But, you know. Like, yeah, it's not a. Don't so if there bone. is. She knows there's not a bone in a dick, guys. Don't like fucking hate on the situation. Jean. Dear. There's not. But. Anyway. But yeah, yeah if, the, if the if the knife's going to be sharp enough that it was one swick move. And she took it right above the base. As you saw, it was just yeah. the head in the fold. And then they said the two doctors were like. She did a good job. Like they. <laughs> yeah, they were like, for one, she did you a favor. Like she couldn't have done this any nicer. By the way, it's beautiful. It and it got stepped on. And it got stepped on when it got found. <laughs> It got stepped on. He was like, oh, shit, guys, yeah, guys, guys, it I stuck to my shoe. It. It. Like, it wasn't stuck to a shoe. How funny would that have been? The evidence photo, a cop shoe. No. Like, gum. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. I promise. <laughs> he did step on it, though. So they said when they put it all back together and they, like, I'm doing, like, weird little hand gestures. I don't know why, but it feels important to show Jean that this is what they did. <laughs> but like, <laughs> when they did this and they stuffed it all back together. Yeah. And they released a tourniquet. Yeah. I guess they were like, everybody, hold your fucking breath. Yeah. And they said, pinked up right away. Well, good. Went back to almost full function and work in order. But then, so before her trial starts, him and his brothers decide, you know what, bro? You need to get out of the, the public eye. This publicity is yeah. too much. Yeah. They go to Colorado. Yeah. They go to a fucking a ranch. The chick from Dateline goes. And they and she interviews them and they're on horseback. And she's like, well, considering what happened to you, does this... Like, yeah. Does this hurt? Uh-huh. He was like, well, yes. Yes, 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 this does. <laughs> this is very painful. But I'm doing it. Uh-huh. Do his brothers <laughs> not like him? Well, his brothers were like, we love him, obviously. We had to take him out of the public eye, and we just had to go have fun on a ranch and do boy things and do fun cowboy stuff, which is totally understandable. Because I swear, the minute I leave Idaho, I don't even give a shit if I'm an Ammon. If it's, like, not my zip code, I'm like, ooh, 
That's a nice break from <laughs> Idaho Falls, you know? I'm just breaking for a second. I'm going to drive to Rigby for a minute. Yeah. yeah. And like when I go to Rigby, it's a whole thing. I'm like, I'm going to Rigby, guys. And they're like, yeah, it's 15 minutes. Shut up. Go. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That's our first story for the Valentine's. Valentine's homicide. Yeah. Huh. It wasn't on Valentine's Day, though. But No, it wasn't. This is just a nice, friendly warning. When you go shopping for that Valentine's Day gift, are you going to fuck this up? <laughs> it's the question you must ask yourself. Hide all the knives, give her the gift, see how it goes. You know, honestly, I, I really like to just make a nice dinner instead of trying to go out. Good Lord. I don't do ever do anything on anything. No. You don't even get chocolates? Nope. Nothing. Chocolates mm. the next day when they're 75% off. I buy my own shit okay. the next day. Yeah. Because I'm there. Yeah. But, you know, we don't do that shit. It's sad. I complain about it every year. Well, I have some, one of those husbands. Throw some rose petals Yeah, on right. Bed. No, that's dumb. Come on. So that's our first one, like I said. And we'll come back at you guys with a true one. I'll get you guys one from Valentine's Day. Because Sweet. then our next one is for my brother's birthday. Yeah. And it's his favorite. We're not going to say yet. And then we'll go back and we'll finish out February with Valentine's Day and all that fun stuff. Well, there's massacres and then there's cute romantic murders that happened at Roman, like murder suicides, Romeo and Juliet shit. Oh, there's a quite a few things that happen on Valentine's Day. Suicide, sadly, a lot. Mm. There's a lot of things that happen that are not okay. Yeah. On Valentine's Day on this opposite side of the love it should be happening but yeah so follow us on twitter at it is what it is 208 because that's where we are from on instagram at it is what it is pod 19 all one word on facebook at it is what it is a true crime podcast on youtube it is what it is a true crime podcast if you guys can't find it good luck i'm just kidding you guys can look up my Facebook profile. I think it's like the only thing I made public is Aww. my podcast. <laughs> so you guys can go there because I'm greedy and selfish that way. I like views. Please go to iTunes. Well, and... Don't be greedy. <clears throat> look what happened to John. Right. Yep. True. And please remember, go to iTunes and give us a review. Don't be a dick. It's super sad there. If you guys don't believe me, go read our reviews. They are not impressive. <laughs> By any means. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. But yep, see you guys next Thanks, week. Thanks guys. Peace out.